Hi, I'm Morgan Perkins and I teach anthropology and art and run the museum studies program at SUNY Potsdam. What Lin Haijong wanted to do was to recreate it in a Western gallery, in an elegant gathering, or the Chinese term being yaji. He and many of his friends and colleagues are trying to maintain or find a connection to a very ancient practice. This piece, uh, Chen Tang Daguan, was initially actually inspired by a poem composed by the Dizze flute player, uh, Du Ru Song, who played at the opening. So part of this gathering was to give the audience a sense of how those art forms interacted. So he composed a poem and he brought it to, to Lin Haijong, who read this poem and was then inspired by this poem to create this vast painting, which speaks to the way in which people would gather together. China has uh, developed and modernized so much, so the more experimental art forms that I usually work with get a lot of attention internationally, but not so much attention coming to these efforts to retain and maintain traditional Chinese ink painting, specifically landscape painting. It is contemporary, he is working in the here and now, even though his work is very, very much rooted in a traditional form. So this is a great opportunity to, to bring the art, the artist, and to also contextualize it anthropologically within the social world in which it's created.